From an Aurora coffee shop to a St. Paul brewery to an online podcast, it's clear the political primary season has begun. It's kind of like the gun starting a race. Professor Larry Jacobs with the Humphrey School of Public Affairs marvels at yesterday's filing frenzy. Holy smoke. And he notes the dust is just now settling, allowing a clearer political picture to emerge. One takeaway for Jacobs, Congressman Keith Ellison may face a crowded field for attorney general, but he made a bold political move. Keith Ellison was looking to become relevant again. He's moving from the sidelines in Congress where he's in the minority in the House to the front lines where he would be one of Donald Trump's main challengers uh, against immigration and a host of other issues. Jacobs also calls the contest for Ellison's current gig a dogfight, with Democratic stars squaring off. And then there's the ramped up race for governor, with Jacobs saying Tim Walls will pay the price of another greater Minnesota congressman joining a ticket. The irony of the DFL gubernatorial race is Tim Waltz was the front runner a week ago. Today, he may even be out of the running. That's analyst talk for no DFL candidate can count their chickens anytime soon. Jacob says same goes for the Republicans. Tim Plenty is going to have a hard time, I think, winning back the core of the Republican Party now that he's been gone all these years. Also today, Mike Hatch dropped out of the race for attorney general, as he said he would do if he felt there were other qualified candidates. Jacobs did point out today progressives tend to fare better than more moderate competitors in a DFL primary, but already turnout is expected to be huge come August 14th. Julie? All right. Thank you, Carla. Mm -hmm.